In this video, you're going to learn how to set up the older Haas TM1 CNC mill. First step is come over to the control panel and hit power on. Then let it power on. Once the machine's on, we're going to follow a couple simple startup steps to get the machine ready to run. First, come over here, hit the reset button twice. Then press setting graph. Press page down. Using the cursor arrow, cursor down to safety switch override, then cursor over to the right, then come down here, hit enter, then press Y for yes. Now we can click power up restart, and the machine will start homing itself, so wait for the machine to stop moving. Once the machine stopped moving, come over to the control board again press hand jog, then come down here and press 5% rapid. Next step is to load your stock into the vise. So take whatever size parallels you need, put them in the vise, take your stock, set it on your parallels, then go ahead and tighten it up. You don't need a wrench down on this, just get it snug. Then take your dead blow, hammer it down on your stock a little bit, just to make sure it's sitting flat against the parallels. All right, next step is to load the tool into the spindle. So you're going to take your edge finder with your tool holder, stick it into the spindle, line up the slots with the tabs, hold the button, and then let go as soon as it sucks it in. Now that our tool's loaded, we're going to use hand jog to jog our edge finder close to our stock. So come into the control board, go ahead and hit hand jog. These four buttons are going to control the speed of your hand jog, so the bigger the number, the faster it's going to go. So we're going to start right here. Then over here, you're going to have your X, Y, and Z axis buttons. That's going to control which way it moves. So X is going to be left and right, Y is going to be front to back, and Z is going to be up and down. So I'm going to use a combination of these buttons to jog where I want to. Then next to that, we're going to have our jog wheel. That's what we're going to use to actually move the machine. So I'm just going to use a combination of the X, Y, and Z axis buttons to move our edge finder closer to our stock. Once our edge finder is close to our stock, I want to be on this left side of the stock first and making sure that the skinny part of the edge finder is hanging below so that it's going to touch the stock. Now once that's set, we're going to come back to the control board. We're going to come over here and we're going to press MDI. That's going to open up this MDI screen. If you already have this M03S800 code in here, you're good. If not, let's say there's nothing there. You're going to come down here. You're going to type M03S800 and press enter. And then that'll pop up there. Now go ahead and hit the orange reset button. And then we're going to hit cycle start. And if it gives you a warning like this, just go ahead and hit cancel then hit cycle start. That's going to get the spindle spinning. So now I'm going to use hand jog, slowing it down. And in my X axis, I'm going to slowly bring it in closer. And the edge finder is going to start to straighten out. You can see it straighten out. And then as soon as it jumps, that's when I'm going to stop. So right there, it just jumped. So I'm going to stop and come back over to my control panel here. I'm going to hit offset, hit offset again. You're going to see this work zero offset page using the cursor arrows, cursor down to G54. Then you're going to come over here and hit part zero set. And that's going to change that X axis number. So now we need to go back to hand jog, jog it up in the Z axis. After I jog it up in the Z axis, I want to go to the right 0.1 to offset for the diameter of the edge finder. So we're going to come over here to our control panel. We're going to hit the 0.1 on hand jog. Make sure you're going on the X axis. And then I'm just going to make sure I move that way 0.1. So you want to make sure that the center of the tool is right on the edge of your stock. Now come back over here, click offset, 
cursor back over to our X and hit part zero set again. So now that moved that 0.1. Now we're going to do the same thing for the Y. So I'm going to hit hand jog, hand jog it over to our Y axis, hand jogging it down so that the skinny part's going to touch the stock. And then I'm going to slowly move it in the Y axis until it starts to straighten out. It's going to start to straighten out. And then as soon as it jumps, I'm going to stop. Right there, it just jumped. So I'm going to come back here. I'm still on my offset page. I'm on the Y axis, and I'm going to hit part zero set again. Now that's set. So now we need to go up in our Z. Switch to our point one for hand jog. Go back in the Y axis. And then you're just going to want to jog it back one click. That way the center of the tool is right on the edge. Then come back to your offset page, cursor over to Y, and hit part zero set. Now we want to make sure for our Z axis that's set at zero. If it's not already at zero, you're going to come down here, hit zero, then hit F1, and then you're going to hit Y for yes and that'll change that to zero. If it's already at zero, you're all set, you can skip that step. So now we need to set our Z height with our tools. So we're gonna go ahead and just click reset. That's gonna stop the spindle. Then we can hand jog this upwards and we can switch to our next tool. Now I have my next tool loaded. I have it jogged just above our stock here. I'm gonna take a piece of paper between the end mill and our stock and then I'm going to slowly jog this down in the Z until I can move the paper still, but there's a little bit of friction. There, I can still move the paper back and forth, but there's a little bit of friction on it. Go ahead and take the paper out. Come back over to the control panel. Go ahead and hit offset again so that you're in this tool offset page. Make sure you're on tool number one and you are in the first column. Come down here and click tool offset measure. That's going to add a number into that first column, and that's going to be your Z-axis offset for tool number one. So now we need to switch to tool number two and set the offset for that. So we're going to come down here, press MDI, then press ATC forward. That's going to run our tool up to switch to the next spot. Now I have tool two loaded, and I'm jogged it down in the Z so that I'm on the top of my stock using a piece of paper. Got a little bit of friction, but I can still get it out. Come back over the control panel and go ahead and hit offset. Using the cursor error, cursor down to tool number two and then come back down here and hit tool offset measure. That'll set that. So now for this scenario, I only need two tools, so I'm done there. I'm ready to load my program. If you have more than two tools, you're going to follow the same steps we did for tool one and two to set your offsets for the rest of your tools. Now we need to load our program. The first step is going to be to take your flash drive, bring it over to the side, and load that into the machine. Then coming back to the front, we're going to go ahead and click Edit, and then F1. You're going to see that top toolbar is going to be popped up. Using the cursor arrow, go over to I.O., go down to Disk Directory, and then hit Enter. That's going to load. You should see your programs on the right side here. Go ahead and select whichever program you want and hit enter again on that. Then, giving it a second to load, you're going to see this will say overwrite, yes, no, or all. Go ahead and click Y for yes to overwrite any existing program. Then you're going to see this will be blinking down the left-hand corner. Sometimes it takes longer depending on the size of your program. Once you see disk done, that means your program's loaded. And you can go ahead and click on mem then your program will load on the screen and just come click cycle start. Mm -hmm.